Hello my lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. For today's episode, I am going to show you how to make a double-sided table runner. I already pre-cut the fabrics. It measures 7 to 2 inches long by 15 inches wide. I also added 1 half inch seam allowances on all sides. So I placed the fabrics right sides are facing each other. I'm simply going to sew the fabrics together leaving the other end open so I can turn the fabric right side out. By the way, these fabrics that I'm using are actually vintage fabrics that I found at the thrift store for only a dollar per two yards. So I was like so happy about that. After I sewn the three sides, I am going to turn the fabric right side out. But before I do that, I'm going to clip the corners. So when I turn the fabric right side out, I will have a sharp and pointed corners. And I just use a pin to push out the corners of the fabric. After that, it should look something like this. Now I'm going to give it a good press so the fabric lays flat. After I press it, it should look something like this. As you can see, it looks so much better already. I also folded in the seam allowances just like this. If you want to, you can sew it all the way around to finish the edges. You can top stitch it, but I'm actually going for a seamless look. So I'm going to hand stitch the end here. So here I am just doing an invisible stitch. I simply just kind of doing a letter S stitch. So first I'm going to make sure I grab a floral fabric and then I'm going to grab the plain fabric. So basically, it's almost like letter S. Then I'll keep on doing it until I reach the other end. As you can see, by sewing it like this, I am hiding the threads in between the two fabrics so you don't see it. And here is the finished project. I also made some table napkins out of the leftover fabric. Simply cut out about 15 by 15 inches square of fabric and then I serge it all the way around and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked this simple and easy tutorial. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. 